Well, hello everyone. In today's video, Power Walls again. I'm doing basically, let's say, a four month update. Even though I'm a maybe uh, four days early. These Power Walls have been used four months continuously, charge, discharge, every single day. Right now, they are fully charged and today I want to show my infrared camera that I bought on Amazon $200 flare one camera I bought it with a different purpose to to improve uh, uh, insulation up in the attic but I decided to use it on the power walls to see what they are doing all right, and then in uh, in a further show off of that camera, we will look at the AC air conditioning um, circuit breaker right there on the left side. We can see that it's getting warm too, compared to the rest of the rest of the circuit breakers in my panel. So let's take a look. So here's the power wall number one. There's no hot spots in it. I thought this would be a hot spot right here, but it's actually a reflection off of this. See if you change it, it kind of shows differently. But from every angle, that shows totally different. But I cannot see any hot spots. There's just this bar right here. Let me see. My finger is on it. That bar lit up. However, this is for all the people that are interested because these cells are laying down on their sides. Here's uh, power wall number two. It's about 32 degrees. And here's the power wall number three. So there's nothing wrong there. So, so far, so good. But please guys, take a note that I, I have built, built these uh, power walls over a year and a half ago. So they've been laying down on their side for a year and a half ago. At least the power wall number one. Power wall number one is about one year, nine months. And the power wall number three is like year and a half right now because it was February of 2020 when I made it now let's look at the refrigerator here interesting thing oh it's not running right now so you can't see it but let's get to the AC breaker here it is it lights up right there it's always the warmest one because the AC is running just about the most now this flare camera can be used to detect all sorts of issues and I'm gonna use it to check on other stuff like the connections on the solar panels and here are the inverters right now and then on the left side you can see the Raspberry Pis the network switch and the power supplies so I'm going to use this flare camera to possibly compare stuff over time. But as I said, I bought it to use it to search for leaks, thermal leaks on my walls up in the ceiling. Here's the door to the attic. You can see how poorly it's insulated compared to the rest of the rest of the ceiling but anyways I just wanted to show this off and I'll probably make more videos with it but once again the power walls are just fine there's no hot spots in them the uh, cells are doing just fine modules are doing just fine and power walls are ju just doing just fine fully charged it's been charged now for maybe 
30 minutes. I don't see anything hot in it. So far, doing good. And let's open up over here. This is the panel. This is the panel where all the all four uh, LV6548s come together. You can see those two breakers on, on the left side. They're warmer than the one for the to charge a car with it. But yeah. Just a quick short little video for you all to see. My power walls are doing just fine. Just one more thing to add. You can see the leaks up in the ceiling. Center of it is insulated pretty good, but the corners, corners suck. So I have to figure out what am I going to do with this. You can actually see the 2x8s in there too. They show quite nicely. Right there, that blue spot is the AC vent. This is the reason why I bought this for a camera. I'm going to fix all of this. As you can see, I do have some leaks and I like my homes to be insulated properly. Here you go, you can see this door. It's insulated fairly well. I don't think I'm going to replace it or change anything else on this door. I have nothing to complain about right there. So, I think it's going to be good.